um, we are we are choosing this this tree here because it covers the road coming down from the mountains and that what makes it but well, that's what makes it a good spot for putting up camera traps because you have it's always a trade-off between getting as much of the area where you set up the camera as possible but also it's about um, the range of the flashlight during the night um, so if you would put it up in the middle there where it's really open you would probably get a lot of animals during the day but not the leopards during the night because the flashlight just doesn't go far enough all right so this is to fix the camera on the tree mm -hmm. and what you do is you put the rope through the hook and pull it and now it's it's tight mm -hmm. now you can use it okay now if you go and try to find a spot and I play the leopard Yeah. We we have it still a little bit loose, but this is just to to make it exact. So so what we do now, we look at the test pictures to see whether the angle is right of the camera. And you will play our leopard so we see what happens. Okay, so yeah. there are quite a few. Just keep clicking through. It's where we there. were still adjusting it. Oh, now he's getting up. And he starts moving. <laughs> he's walking backwards. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Okay, very important. You always have to mark the position where you put up the camera trap because, of course, um, I won't be going out all the time with you when you check the camera traps. So what I will do is then to give you the GPS positions of the camera traps and then you will be in charge of going there and changing batteries and SD cards and the GPS position of course will help you find it. So that's always very important. Mm -hmm.